trains coming in and out, but just people yeah. waiting there to see what's happening. New fellow Adams, Amy Lauren, has been there all morning. Uh, what's going on now, Amy? Well, as the sun came up, there was finally a, a glimmer of hope where people had been stuck. <laughs> It's a big, messy cleanup we have. Yeah, yeah, and I know a lot of people who went in yesterday and are still stuck in there because you can't get on the subway, you can't right. get to the other one. And there's no tax. Do you have this one? I can't tell you. Usually, okay, it's not how much this one. I can't tell you. Usually, I see the building or the flag or something. So you can see the snow coming in there. We roughly have about 14 and a half inches here in a Woodbury, but some of the snow will have around there more westward towards the Park Park and also down towards the people crying, just tremendous frustration. And um, and then take a look at this video of people running to the bus. This was the first sign of hope. This happened about a half an hour. We're just gonna get on it because they couldn't stand waiting here anymore. Um, but finally, uh, help has come. Some people got out, others are still stuck here, and help has come. And right now I'm with um, Sam Kelly from the American Red Cross. He's shown up here, and how did you hear about what was going on here? Well, we knew that there were passengers stranded in places, but we didn't realize just how bad it was here in Hicksville. And so we actually heard it from you on News 12. Uh, so when we heard that, uh, we loaded up the vehicle with blankets and water and snacks. Uh, okay. and, and that's what happens. And that's why people really need to think about being prepared on days like this and not going out because you don't want to end up stranded like this. But we're glad we could help these people out. Well, it's really go to it and uh, just uh, enjoy the day and, and hopefully the, the weather will break a little bit and go out do some sledding with your kids. It must be a little bit tough for you because, you know, the western part of the island, but, uh, you know, it's still, it's, it's still a concern. Yeah, well, what I find on the east end, Mark, is uh, you have the big open farm fields and you get wind that just whips uh, out of nowhere and you can get drifted. I know it's a little bit more here, so we open farm field areas that they did put um, uh, snow fencing up. You'll, you'll see drifts along the so, Bagel Boss called me and you have to come in to work today, and then what happened? Yeah, uh, my wife called me and... 